So how do you get from this to this? I'm Jamie White. I'm an artist who has worked with Dr. Sam Willis on books, television and other things. And I now work with him editing the audio and video for the Mariner's Mirror podcast. I'm briefly going to take you through how we created this photorealistic image of Nelson's face. So this is an image of what was thought for many years to be the death mask of Admiral Nelson, cast, as the little plaque in the image says, after his death on board the Victory at the Battle of Trafalgar. However, it is now thought that the mask was taken five years before his death, in around 1800, in Vienna, in preparation for this marble portrait bust by Franz Thaler. So it's really more of a life mask than a death mask. The first thing we did was to use new software that uses artificial intelligence to generate a realistic looking face from any vaguely facial looking source image. The software uses two neural networks competing with each other in a system called a generative adversarial network, which is a technical way of saying that the computer shouts at itself to do better, and after a few iterations, feeding it different parameters, we ended up with this image, which I like to think of as Steve. He looks like a Steve. To me, this image is fascinating because it's what Nelson could have looked like if he was born into a completely different time in history, and instead of working his way through the ranks of the Royal Navy, he worked in the little independent tobacconist on the high street. You know, the one that sells novelty lighters and cleaning products. So to turn Steve into Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson, first Viscount Nelson, first Duke of Bronte, I needed to make a few changes, the first of which were to the shape of his mouth and the tone of his skin. Nelson was shown in the majority of his portraits with a slightly more upturned mouth than Steve's, with a little more of a cupid's bow, and with more pronounced lines around the mouth, while a lifetime working in the elements on board ship had left him with a somewhat ruddy complexion. Next I had to fix his irises, which the AI had kind of creepily turned into strange milky diamonds for some reason. I then shaved his right eyebrow, and darkened the brows slightly before adding the scar that Nelson acquired at the Battle of the Nile in 1798, when he was hit on the head by a flying piece of debris, exposing an inch-long section of his skull. The scar wasn't shown in most portraiture of Nelson, and has only recently been reincorporated into our collective image of him, thanks to the rediscovery of this 1799 portrait by the Italian artist Leonardo Guzzardi, who aimed to show Nelson as the battle-worn veteran that he was, rather than idealising him as an almost divine figure, as other artists tended to at this time. Next, I digitally painted a blurry background, hair and costume, added a bit of detail up top, and there it is. Nelson's life mask brought to life. <laughs> <laughs>